Hey, third video, three is my favorite number, so I thought I'd ditch the Sandy Cohen eyebrows. Not that I ever watched OC, who told you that? Lying. So, I will tell you my testosterone story, because it is a little different than uh, most of the testosterone stories I've been privy to, which had led me to expect a certain thing, and and I didn't get it at all. So after, after I had my chest surgery, my therapist was basically like, man, you're good to go for testosterone. Like, I'll write your reference letter. Take it or leave it at your leisure. So it's there for you if you want it. So I said, oh, I want it. I want the beard on my face. I got these off. I want this on. Oh, not up here, but yeah. Ooh. So I went to see him first visit, and he filled me in on how he does things, which is when my heart kind of stopped, and I died a little bit inside. But I just went with it, because I have a hard time questioning authority which is something I have to work on, perhaps, when it's appropriate. The way I went through this lovely process is six months on estrogen blockers. After horrible, horrible, uh, it was, eh, this kind of sucks. Six months of half a dose oral testosterone. And then, this is why I should document everything, but I either did another six months or a year of full dose testosterone. And I want to say it was just six months, because that's a fairly long time. And half dose of oral, the stuff I was on, is one orange pill in the morning and one at night, and then full dose is two orange pills in the morning, two at night. Okay, estrogen blockers. If you're thinking, what, what is that? What is this estrogen blockers nonsense he's talking about? Exactly what it sounds like. It just blocks your estrogen and perhaps progesterone, I'm not sure. And obviously I'm not producing testosterone in the quantities I'd need. So he did make the point that if I needed to stay on estrogen blockers for longer than six months, you know, just to make sure that I was comfortable with the direction I was going with testosterone and needed to take a bit more time to kind of think about things, that I should also consider my source of calcium and how much I'm getting because osteoporosis is a concern if you stay on it for longer than six months. <clears throat> oh. So I did six months. Mark came and I was like, put me on that tea. That's all I want. That's all I've ever wanted. Uh, and then as I just said, half dose of oral. And I really liked my endo. He was a really nice guy. We got along. But I don't. Oral testosterone is out of all the different methods of putting it into your body, it's the least effective. Right? And metabolized by your liver which can be hard on your liver so all these things like you're not really getting the amounts of testosterone in your body to sort of affect noticeable changes quickly I was on a half dose for six months and I barely noticed anything uh, but yeah no no significant changes and you're just kind of sitting there spending a lot of money to 
I was really lucky and got uh, insurance to cover part of it, but I was still paying like 60 bucks. Yeah, 60 bucks for like a, when I moved up to full dose, maybe like a month and a half supply of pills. Very expensive, and it's like 130 bucks without any insurance, so it doesn't really make any sense. And then a full dose, I think my voice kind of started cracking then, and a little bit more hair, right, a little bit more hair here, and I'm, I can be very impatient sometimes. Sometimes I can be super patient, but I also known um, almost my entire life that I was trans and when I was 17 that was when I kind of was like well I need to start doing something about this because I'm not happy and high school was terrible and I just gotta start fresh and I want all this stuff to be done before I start university and that obviously didn't happen because the system doesn't work like that for me Mr. Fucking no confidence guy but I ended up alright it worked out in the end so the next time I saw him I once again boost of confidence I told him that I didn't really like the oral stuff and I wanted to move to injections and so he did the whole 200 milligrams every two weeks which was alright I got my nurse to do it and a lot of drop off. Uh, so what else? A little terrible testosterone experience. But I wonder what life would have been like if I just, you know, started on testosterone injecting right away. I don't know. Part of me really feels like the whole estrogen blocker, half dose of oral, slowly, like a super slow process that just messes with your body's hormones to extreme extents. You're going through all these body issues quite possibly suffering from some form of depression at any level on the scale from mild to severe you're dealing with uh, everything family friends school work money relationships support non-support harassment like there's a lot going on in the lives of people and I'm trying not to ostracize people who are older than I am and going through this process. I mean, you guys have stuff going on too that I couldn't even understand. Because right now, the problems I have, um, when I'm in my 50s, I'm going to look back and say, <laughs> I thought those were big problems. Man, I was such a kid. <laughs> oh, God. I wish I had those problems now. <laughs> Nevertheless, you have to validate your feelings, what you're going through. So the problems I had when I was going through this were real and they were big and they were important to me. And you take all that and you just send them off into menopause. But you gotta stay strong. You gotta stay fixed and resilient and committed to being trans, right? You can't waver, you can't question, because then, whoa, whoa. Maybe you need a bit more time on the estrogen blockers. And here's a glass of milk. Uh, menopause, yes. Hot flashes, not fun, not fun. Funny in Mrs. Doubtfire, not fun in real life. No, not at all. Um, Emotions. <laughs> I'm not a very outwardly expressing emotional person, if that makes any sense. Uh, I don't really cry very much. 
I never used to cry very much. Me, rock. I start hormone therapy, sitting watching TV, commercial for I'm's dog food comes on. I'm fucking bawling like a little baby. I just can't help myself. I'm like getting all choked up in my throat and my eyes are watering and I'm like, what's going on? But inside my heart I'm like, oh my god. It's the music and the dog and the food, like, just the combination is deadly. Can you imagine living with someone like that? Like, god. That's my tea story. It, uh, it's wacky. Wacky times up in Canada. And that might just be Cam Age. <laughs> okay.